What happens if you like step in it? Oh! <laughs> this week. <laughs> oh, that's so cold. I don't even know what to do anymore. Far out Brussels sprout. Oh. My. Gosh. Oh my gosh! This is the face of someone who got no sleep. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh. My goodness, this has been the busiest, most stressful week of my entire life and it's not to do with finals, it's to do with like everything else that's gone on this week, so all will be explained in this video. <laughs> But yes, as you can tell by the title of this video, this is finals week at Yale. It's actually currently Thursday. I literally just have not had time to vlog this whole week, but I still have two more exams to go, one this afternoon and one tomorrow morning. And as you probably also can kind of tell by the intro, we are currently in the middle of a snowstorm. So we're completely like snowed in. The university like dining hall has shut down for the day. We're supposed to be getting like 14 inches of snow. Like th that's a, that's a, that's a lot. So I don't really have time to talk too much now. I'm going to get on with, so mm, whew, where do I even begin? Aside from everything else that has gone on this week, in terms of finals, I had two papers that were due last week. So I'm taking five courses this semester. So two of them I had final papers due last week and then three of them I have final exams this week. I had my economics final on Monday, then this afternoon I have my chemistry final and then tomorrow morning I have my maths final. I am very concerned that I'm going to fail these exams. Like, I know you guys are watching this, you're like, oh my gosh, yeah, you're going to say that, but then you're going to get like 90%. Like, no. No. Like, genuinely, I am concerned. <laughs> I, I can't even say things like this because people just don't believe me, but I, trust me when I say, like, I am concerned as to whether or not I'm going to pass. So anyway, I need to do some study for that. I need to start my study for that. Um, it's currently 9am and I got literally no sleep last night, so that's fun. So I'm just going to do some study for a little bit and then we're going to go outside and I'll show you all of the snow. And as we go through the vlog, I will explain everything that's gone on this week. I'm sorry, it was meant to be like a whole weekly vlog, but I was just having like panic attacks by the hour for the past three days. Probably we'll have one today as well. So, it has been a stressful... <laughs> I'm still so stressed. Okay, let's do a studying time lapse and then we can go see the snow. You can probably tell by the state of this room, my life is a mess. When I tell you, <sighs> everything, everything keeps going wrong this week. Like, <laughs> literally, uh, every, every single hour, something will go wrong and then I'll fix it. And I'll be like, okay, we're all good. And then another thing will go wrong. I don't even know what to do anymore. This would make a good thumbnail. How is that at all logical? Like, <laughs> that is so illogical. And then I'm expected to just have the time to study for an exam. No, this is why I'm going to fail. Literally. Okay, so I feel like we need to explain what's going on. So, 
Three hours after my last final exam finishes tomorrow, I'm leaving to go visit family in a location, which you will find out in my next video, which is coming out tomorrow. Um, to get to this place, I have to catch a train, then a taxi, then two planes, then a taxi, then a ferry, and then another taxi. And I also have to get heaps of documents prepared and forms filled out, and I had to get a negative COVID test. And I also had to completely pack up my whole room at Yale into boxes and then pack what I'm taking on holiday. And something went wrong with every single step, every single thing I had to do. It wasn't my fault, but things just kept going wrong. For example, Yale like messed up my Monday COVID test, so it just didn't work. Then I got told I could no longer store my stuff at Yale and I had to find a storage unit. Then I walked to four different stores to try and print off my documents that I needed printed because all these stores said online that they did printing. Then I got to the store and they were like, no, we don't do it. And then the taxi website just wouldn't let me book a taxi for literally no reason. Anyway, and so many more things, so many more things. Everything went wrong. So what's happening right now is about the COVID test. So originally I had to get one no more than five days before my travel date. Then they changed it to no more than three days before. And so I did it on Wednesday, which is three days before Saturday when I was leaving at 2 a.m. in the morning. Um, and so I got this done and I sent it to the place I had to send it to and they sent it back saying Wednesday isn't three days before Saturday and that I needed to get the test done on Thursday, which is today. And the problem is it's not allowed to be a rapid test, so it takes a day or two to get my results back. And by this time, it was less than two days before I left and testing facilities had closed down on campus until the afternoon because of the snowstorm. And if I don't get the negative test result, then they won't let me get on the plane. So that's why I was stressing. I'm sorry, this is such a long explanation, but it was such a hectic week and I had all of this stuff to do. So I hardly had any time to study, which was less than ideal. I'm literally so tired, like so tired. I have got no sleep last night. I have a headache. Everything keeps going wrong, which I think I've explained through voiceovers in this video, um, because I can't bring myself to talk about it right now. And I have an exam this afternoon and tomorrow morning, both of which I'm gonna fail. Like, and there's a winter storm and we're literally snowed in and I can't go for a run, which is how I relieve my stress, so. This <laughs> is why I haven't vlogged this week because literally every single day has been like this. Literally every single day has just been like this. Like I'll be, tr I'll try to study and then I'll try to pack and then I'll try to, like yesterday morning, I walked around to four different places. Like I spent the whole morning just walking around trying to find, because Yale, they shut or like we can't print. Normally like at college we can access printers and print stuff off and I need to print off all of this like my negative COVID test results my um train ticket plan ticket etc I need to print it all off but Yale has closed all their printing facilities so I couldn't print it off at college so I had to like go to all these different shops and they just all like they said online they had printing services and then I got there and then they were like no we don't do printing and it took all morning and just like all this stuff that I've had to do and so I've had like no time and I still have to pack up this whole room Okay, I'm about to leave to go out into the snow because I need to go get my COVID test, which originally this is the one I was having as a backup, but now apparently it's the one that's going to determine if I can get into the So hopefully it comes back negative and hopefully I'm editing this video from and I got there okay. Fingers crossed. Okay, I definitely do not have the appropriate footwear for this, but I guess it's better than slides. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, it's cold. You're my best friend. Didn't care about those good on the weekends. I'll be in full stripped in the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we could. This is so cool. Everything looks so cool. Oh my gosh, I just almost slipped over. Um, I need to get some shoes I can actually like wear properly in this snow because... <laughs> Look at it. This is like, and it's literally like snowing now as well. That's 
so cool. That's so cool. Wow. This has put me in a good mood. Kind of. Not really. Oh, okay. Look at the literal like piles of snow. Oh my gosh. And there's snow on the things and there's snow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I really want to like step in that snow. <gasps> Could I step? Look how deep, like look how deep this is. What happens if you like step in it? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Whoa. Oh. <sighs> it's so cold. Look at how much snow is on there. Like that's... <gasps> what if I touched it? Oh my gosh. It's so cold. Oh my gosh. It's really cold. Ooh. What if I like pushed it off? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh. Oops. Oh, that's so cold. Oh, that's so cold. I think my camera's getting snow on it. Look. Holy moly. That is so cool. Look at that, a lovely little spot to just sit and have some lunch, you know, right in the middle of this. I can't feel my fingers. <laughs> I should have worn gloves. I don't know why I didn't wear gloves, but my fingers are like, I don't know if you can see how red they are, but they're literally like both hands. They're just <laughs> frozen. Oops. Lunch, which I already started eating, is salmon and carrots, and there was more couscous and vegetables in there, but I already ate it. This day, this week, has been an emotional roller coaster, but um, it's time for my exam, so. <laughs> my exam has just finished, woohoo! I don't think I failed, so to be fair, I thought I'd probably like scrape through with chemistry, but maths, maths, like, ooh, we have been on the cusp in the midterm exams, <laughs> and now, the final, I just literally haven't had time to study it all, so that is tomorrow morning. Like, we are very, <clears throat> very, very concerned, and the problem with math is that you can't, like, kind of, you know, write down heaps of, you know, in, like, economics and chemistry, and, like, sciences less so, but still in, like, sciences and, like, 
humanities subjects and in English you can just like write stuff down and you'll get some marks for it. With maths, if you don't know what you're doing, then you really are going to get no marks. And I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm, I'm so tired. Literally that whole exam. It's so funny because it's like we're on Zoom and it's like recorded because obviously I just did it like here because of COVID. Um, but it's like recorded so if someone cheats or if there's any thing that goes on you would be able to see I guess or if there's any like funny behavior that goes on they'd be able to like watch the recording back and see if anyone did anything which actually did happen in our last midterm with chemistry apparently in a different zoom room there was like some people doing some bad stuff <laughs> I have no idea what happened because I wasn't in that zoom room but um anyway the point of saying that was that if they watch the recording back of our Zoom room, they will see me yawn about 500 times. I literally just could not stop yawning. The exam proctor person who was watching us was probably watching me just like keep yawning, being like, is she okay? No, no, she's not. Do I look tired? I feel like I look very tired. I feel like I do. Oh, oh dear. One more exam to go and then I'm done with the semester. This time tomorrow done and dusted and hopefully on a train to New York City and then on a plane. I've just been trying to organize all this stuff because tomorrow I'm um, on the way. So tomorrow I'm leaving New Haven, going on a train to New York City, staying in my aunt's apartment for like half the night, then at 2am leaving the apartment and going to the airport to go on two flights. Can you tell I have a lot to organize? Anyway, so my aunt's friend sent me the apartment keys. She sent the apartment keys to my address at Yale because they couldn't deliver to a PO box with this thing that she was using. Anyway, so she sent it to my address at Yale and it arrived yesterday morning and Yale still hasn't told me that it's here but it's like it's here but they just haven't like processed it or whatever and sent me an email and I need the keys now because I have an exam tomorrow morning and then I'm leaving on the train so like I need them and they just not replying to my email and then how am I going to get into the apartment and then and it's like I've got my exam tomorrow morning then I'm just gonna fail okay I need to stop saying that but like it's true and you know what the problem with maths is like in other subjects like chem my chemistry exam my economics exam like the question will like have lots of words in it and you'll kind of be able to like I don't know you know do something with the question but in maths or at least the kind of maths that I'm doing in my maths class it'll just give like an equation and then be like solve or find the integral or find the error or whatever like you have nothing to go off if you don't know what the little math wordy equation is you can't do anything like you literally you can't even you know conjure up something anyway I will see you guys in the morning I think <laughs> I will see you in the morning <laughs> literally when I tell you everything keeps going wrong I, it it's not accepting the address that the literal apartment is at. Like, that's the address of the apartment. How is it invalid? It's a street address. I can't show you because I can't show you, but like... Everything. Everything. I don't think anything has gone right this week. Like, genuinely, everything that I've tried to do in relation to going to like all the little steps I've been taking everything has gone wrong and like it just won't let me book it book this this is a taxi from the apartment to the airport and like it but like I can't put in a different address because I'm not going to be at a different address I'm going to be at that address far out Brussels sprout this week I tell you what this week <laughs> is not a good week. It's not a good week. And I have a headache as well. Good morning. Okay, this is what I look like when I just like get out of bed and don't do anything like I. <laughs> because I feel like sometimes YouTubers like start vlogging in the morning and they're like, oh my gosh, hi, I just got out of bed. And I'm like, how'd you get out of bed looking like that? Like, this is what I get at. Like, my eyes haven't even adjusted to the light yet. Anyway, <clears throat> um, I'm still very tired. I got like eight hours sleep. No, actually a bit less than eight hours, which is like, 
it's like 7 a.m. at the moment. <laughs> I just couldn't get back to sleep. Anyway, so, and I've also got a really sore neck. Anyway, keeping this vlog very, very real, as you can see, this is gonna be such an emotional roller coaster vlog. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. Anyway, this morning started with some good news. Yay! My COVID test from yesterday came back. And it's negative, so now I need to send that to the people who I need to send it to. This time in four hours, four hours, Tia is done with the semester. Yes. My exam starts in less than two hours. And I just went to do my laundry, so I just went and put on a bunch of laundry because I've been like saving all until now, so then it's all done and ready for me to like go. So I just went and put on a load of laundry, then in a minute I need to go and change it and put it in the dryer, and then I need to go and get my breakfast, and then I need to go to the post office, and then I have to go to the printing shop to get my um, stuff that I need printed off, printed off, and then I need to do my exam, and then I need to pack my whole room, and then I need to leave. Yeah. Also my room, like, hello, she is totally not packed. Totally not packed at all. Okay, so I'm just walking to go and get breakfast and then to change my laundry from the washer into the dryer. But like, it's so, it's so surreal. Like, it feels like I'm in a movie. Like, how is this real? How is there like snow everywhere? And I'm wearing slides because I am, oh no, some snow just got on my sock. Um, I'm the, oh. <laughs> I just literally almost slipped over. Um, I am the queen of appropriate footwear choices. Oh my gosh, there's so much snow in my sock. Like, please, someone tell me how this is real. Does this, look, like there's a fence there. And it's just like, oh my gosh, ah. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I need to get to that thing. How, how am I supposed to get to that? I need to get to that. Ooh. Now I need to like cross the road, but like there's like snow. How do I get across? If you want to save money in college, do your lights and your darks in the same load as long as there's like nothing in your darks. Like if you know all of your darks don't really leak colour, then like this crop top was is white and it was washed with the darks. Like it's generally fine. Why? Did I put my card in the wrong way? Try it the other way. What? What is going on? Why is this not working? Would you like to work? Hey! What? What? I pressed start. Oh my gosh. I'm finished. Yay. I am done. Exam is over. This semester is over. Now I just have to get and then I can relax. <laughs> Yay! And then came the most stressful two hours possibly of my entire life. Basically, I really, I had two hours in which to pack up my whole room before I needed to go to the train station. And I severely underestimated how much time it was going to take me to pack up the whole room into boxes. I had six boxes, two suitcases and two backpacks that I had to all pack, decide what I was taking, what I was leaving. Then I had to like check out of my room and I still had to run to the printing shop to get the thing. I had to go and try and get the keys, which I actually, I ended up getting the apartment keys from the Yale Post people. And oh my goodness, 
<laughs> so there was no time to vlog any of that obviously but I started vlogging again on my walk to the train station and two of my sweet mates actually walked to the train station with me which was really really nice they helped me carry my stuff um, so that will be the start of the next vlog and the next the next video that I upload will reveal where I'm going and then the video after that will be a travel vlog of how I got there and then so many exciting videos to come. I have so many videos planned and there's going to be really, really frequent uploads for the next six weeks. So make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of those videos and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that really helps my channel out. And don't forget to go and follow me on Instagram if you're not already because I will be posting lots of pictures of this beautiful location and also you can follow me on TikTok if you want. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in my next video, which is coming out tomorrow. Okay, okay. I will take my time. No, just here. I want to just run on the road. Okay. For the... Run on the road? What about that car? Are you... Oh, there's a cock. Oh, no.